Hello everyone, my name is Srishti and uh, in this video we will understand the concept related to verbs and used to because I see many times people are not aware on how to place this used to. Whenever they speak in past tense, maybe simple past tense, they repeat it. Whatever sentences they want to make, they're only using used to every time. But we should understand what is it, how is it to be used so that we do not make any mistakes when we are speaking. So refer to these two sentences mentioned on the screen. I used to live here. They didn't used to live here. Two sentences, different sentences. Let's explore together what's the catch. So we use present simple for repeated actions and habits and this still continue with us. I drink coffee every day, twice a day. I play tennis once in a week, once in a month, okay? So we need to remember that we use present continuous for now. Now means something which is happening right in front of me. I'm eating a hamburger now. And the past continuous that will talk about an action that was happening in the past. Now it has discontinued for today. I was reading a book yesterday at the same time. But what am I doing now? I'm talking to you. So this is how the concept is getting changed. We need to be very careful of, of applying these small little things. Now this is Ryan 10 years ago and today. The 10 years ago, he used to wear a sports dress. He did not like vegetables. He used to play football. He used to play basketball even. He used to drink a cola and he used to go to club at the weekend. This is 10 years ago and that is the reason I'm using used to because used to is telling me about the habits which happened in past, which were happening in past, but for now they have either discontinued, we do not uh, um, continue with them maybe, or it has reduced its intensity. So let's see what Ryan is doing now. He wears suits. He do not. He does not play basketball. He works in an office. He has uh, long hair. He do. He does not drink uh, cola, and he eats a lot of vegetables. Okay, this is the difference in his life ten years from now. So used to is used for repeated actions in the past, and the action does not happen now. I used to speak French. I used to play every time after returning from school. I used to have a pink bag. I don't have it right now. They used to go for a walk every day, but now they don't really do this. So this is how you need to analyze what are the activities that you're still doing and what is it that you have stopped doing. Accordingly, use used to. So as I mentioned some of the sentences, of Ryan's life, Ryan used to play basketball. He loved to play football. He used to drink cola. He used to hate vegetables. But today, now he is working in, a, in an office. He is not drinking cola. He eats only vegetables. He wears suits and formals. So let's complete these sentences together. When I was young, I used to fight with my sister. Rodrigo used to listen to rock music, but now he listens to classical music. So when I'm referring to now, I'll be using the present tense. Absolutely. Naveen and Pratap used to enjoy taking holidays in the south of India, but now they travel or they love to travel to Europe. When Alexander was at university, he used to study hard. I read by myself. I used to read by myself, but now I live in a house with friends from college. Or it can be, I used to live by myself earlier. Amira and Vigo used to play all the time at the school. Okay. My son used to play computer games, but now he finally reads books. So a verb can be anything. You just need to be careful. And how are you using it? When they were at school, Nika and Thomas uh, played in the school 
used to play in the school or orchestra. When I was young, I used to work very hard. I used to exercise very hard. These days, I get less time, or I exercise. I spend less time like that. Yusuf used to play a lot of team sports, but now he exercises in the gym. So, what did they used to do? Can you try to make sentences from the clues available here? Greta used to play tennis. Now she plays piano. Andreas used to go to school. Now he goes to college. Kian used to hate vegetables. Now he eats healthy food only. Ross and Esme used to fight a lot, but now they are best friends. So we use present simple for the general repeated situations. I am happy. She has long hair. It is still there in existence. And uh, maybe for the states and actions, Madrid is the capital of Spain. It will remain tomorrow as well. So we do not generally use continuous tenses with the state verbs like I am tired, I was tired, I'm being tired. That would be incorrect. Be careful of what you are saying. So we often use to be and to have with states, but not always. We also use the used to for states in the past. I'm sure you are getting help from these examples. I used to play football once a week. Now I do not play. I used to have black hair. Now I have gray hair. Okay. <laughs> Their children used to be young, but now they are adults. Bora used to be overweight, but now he is slim. Mateo and Ingrid used to have a large house, but now they are living or they live in an apartment. Now I feel happy, but I used to be unhappy. Axel used to be naughty, but these days he is a polite young man. Yes, he's improving. My uncle used to be in the army, but now he is retired. When Livia was at school, she used to be in trouble every day. Before I went to a therapist, I was depressed. I used to be depressed. Now I'm better. We always need to be on time. We always are on time. Or maybe we always were on time, but these days we are always late. So we are, we use used to for the things that were true in the past, but not anymore. Something which is now not in existence. Auckland was the capital of, or Auckland used to be the capital of New Zealand, but now it is Wellington. There used to be a lake when I was young. French used to be a world language, but today English is the only global language. It used to be cheap to buy a house in this neighborhood, but now it is very, very expensive. Yes, team, I am sure you are able to understand this concept nicely. I try to use and share many examples with you. Please keep on practicing, keep on revising, and I'm sure you will be a pro one day. Thank you so much for watching this video. You have a good day. Thank you.